Welcome to Amico's mini lesson series, Building the Figure in Clay. In this series, I share my methods for figurative ceramic sculpture using Da Vinci's Lady with Ermine and interpreting it in clay. Making a hollow figure in clay. Slab construction is the fastest way to build a figure, but any method will work. I always start with a slab base. It gives extra weight and stability and reduces the risk of the sides cracking and firing. Using slabs about half to three quarter inch thick will be strong enough for small to medium sized pieces, allowing some manipulation without being too thin. I cut a hole in the center to ensure that air isn't trapped inside. Score and spray all joins, adding a coil of clay in the seam if needed. The front part of the slab base is for the arms. The body is built straight up and the arms added later onto the base. This gives the body some support structure. Keep the walls of your figure as even a thickness as possible to ensure even drying. Clays with more grog, like the 27M that I use here, can be used thicker. The grog, which is fired clay, ground up, makes the clay dry and fire more easily. Build the shoulders as rounded slabs and stop at the neck. The most common problem in figures is the neck and head collapsing down into the chest. I avoid this problem by putting a slab of clay, maybe two inches wide and three quarter inch thick, from the front of the throat to the back. This truss helps by spreading the weight load from the chest to the back. Once the truss is in place, allow the torso to firm up overnight with a small strip of plastic covering the place to add clay for the neck. To see how the figure is completed, watch the rest of this series on our YouTube channel or at amico.com.